How's it going, lads? Marshall here, and welcome to another review on the channel. Now, recently I've been looking at the comments and I've been seeing one name pop up and get thumbs up on the comment. It's this man on your screen, Marco Van Bloody Bastin. Today we review him and see if he's any good, as some of you guys say he's overpowered. Some of you say he's slow as hell, but we're going to test him out today. His pros, his cons, everything will be looked at in depth in this review. So if you do enjoy, lads, smash it like and it. Let's see him for a thousand likes on this review of the Prime Icon. And if you do want any cheap MSP, PSN, or even game codes, head on over to gtoa.com, use that code MA9. Every single link that you will need is right there in the the description below. Now, if I sound weird, I know I, know I sound weird all the time, but uh, I sound a little bit off or a little bit dodgy. I've just been the dentist to give me like local anesthetic and stuff like that. And uh, they did something with a nerve in my tooth, it bloody killed. So um, if I sound a bit weird, uh, it's because I'm still getting over the kind of numbness in my mouth and um, yeah, I'm slurring a lot of words. But I'm going to get straight into it. In the back line, I've got a team of the year. I've got two team of the years Marcelo Ramos. Now, will I get to reviewing these cards? I think I will, because now I can see the difference. I put a chemistry style on Ramos, and coincidentally, since then, I'm not too sure if it's actually the chem style, he's turned in an absolute monster. He's the best center back I've used on this game. A crack and crack and player, Marcelo. The stamina difference is massively noticeable, and he is very good on this game. We got Zanetti right back. I packed him. First owner, Javier Zanetti. We got Rio Ferdinand alongside him. David here and Nets. Pogba, Bergkamp, love for Matthias. If you want to see a review on Matthias, let me know in the comment section below. I was impressed with him that much that I went and did his prime icon version. We got Dembele, Draxler, and the man in the middle, Marco Van Basten. So, lads, let's get in the review. So, here we go. Now, Marco Van Basten is one of the cheapest prime icons that you can do on the game. As you can see, I've got the loan version because, as I always say, and with uh, Matthias, it's prime example. Try before you buy with these icon cards. Because if you're not impressed by their loan version, what's the point of getting their prime version? That is what I always say. I was definitely impressed by Matthias. That is why I did get his prime version. So the price of the SPC in general is 680 to 720 on the Xbox and the PlayStation. He scored 16 times in eight games, with half of them being in the foot champions. One assist as well as one yellow card. He's got three star skills, which is a slight downside in the card. Only a minor one though. Four star weak foot, massive pro, six foot too tall, medium to medium work rates. His jumping is 85, his head and accuracy is 93. So in the air, this guy is a force to be reckoned with. 81 acceleration, not too bad. 85 sprint speed, again, not too bad. Positioning, 96. Finishing, this is the key stat of the day. 90, bloody seven. His technique in front of goal, knows no bounds. It is so good, and you'll see that in the clips. He's got 94 shot power, 88 long shots, 98 volleys. Of course, he scored one of the most famous volleys you will ever see in any football competition for the Netherlands at like the World Cup or something like that. It was an amazing goal, and it's still called the Van Basten to this day. A cracking over the top, like from the angle, it was from a very acute angle, and he scored that goal for Netherlands. He scored 24 times in 58 games, mainly playing for AC Milan. Of course, he started off with Ajax. He's only played two clubs in a nine-year span. So, lads, let's get in the gameplay. Of course, I was in Euro 19. 98. Where did he score that volley in 98? I'm not too sure. It might be 98. Yeah, I think it was 98 where he did score that volley. So it wasn't in the World Cup, it was at Euros. And in game, my good God, he's got the same technique. In terms of finishing, he can do stuff like that. That was the first time running on the ball, half volley, top bins, weak foot, easy as you like. Crack and strike again from Marco Van Basten. So in game, is capable of the spectacular, and as you can see on the, the left hand side of your screen on the pro section, I've got very clinical and I've got shot accuracy because, as you just seen there, you aim the goal, or even if you shoot, you don't even really have to aim, it will go flying in due to the accuracy on this card. Look at this, I've got in the area, I thought, you know what, let's try and finesse to the back post. It came off, and it's a cracking goal yet again by Marco. I'm just gonna call him Marco. Van Basten seems quite long, but, anyways, guys, into why he's very clinical. He's got the shot power. He's got the finish and stat, which is 97. The shot power is 94. And he's got the curve and stuff like that. I know the curve is 77, but in terms of finesse, and there's no problems whatsoever. You would have seen that finesse there. No problems at all with that goal. So he's got all these kind of techniques that you can use in game to score multiple goals. That one, another finesse in the back of there. So if you're in front of goal and you think, should I finesse? Should I use power or something like that? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. You choose what you decide in that moment that you think will go in, and it will go in because he's so clinical on this game. 
he reminds me of Harry Kane. I'm not gonna lie, he reminds me of Harry Kane as he does a one-two with Dembele. Goes inside the area and again another finesse finish into the corner of the goal. Harry Kane on this game, for me, is the best finisher. I know a lot of pros might look at this and think, it's Harry Kane, man. He can't be the best finisher. He's got 99 in every category and he scored so many goals for me in a high-level competition and he was great. He really, really was. So for me, Harry Kane is the best finisher in the game. Marco Van Basten is up there with Harry Kane because in front of goal, he's an assassin. Literally an assassin. He will score nearly every single chance. He does get on the volley back of the net. Of course, he's got 98 volleys, which is very important with the card. And of course, if you get the volley inside the area, it's going one direction, not the band. Literally the direction back of the bloody net with his 97 finishing and 98 volleys. And of course, the 94 shot power all add up to making this guy possibly the best volleyer of the ball on the game. And of course, the technique in front of goal. He goes through here, has a sort great save by Azmir Begovic. Comes out to Deli Ali. I turn one way, I turn back the other way. Women across. This is another volley. Another volley in the back of the net. Keeper probably could have done a little bit better on that kind of occasion. But again, another great volley by Marco Van Basten. So shot accuracy is the next pro. And the shot accuracy, as you see in the background, is very, well, accurate. <laughs> it's great. It really is. You take aim and it goes in the corner. You take aim at the side of the net. It goes inside that. You scoop chip again. It goes in the net because he is very accurate. And you will see a scoop chip in this review as well. I think this goal actually made my opponent leave inside 10 minutes. Gets the ball in the area. That goes right in the, in the stanchion of the goal. Great finish there from Van Basten. His head in. He's a force to be reckoned with in the air. He's aerial competent, if that's even a phrase, on this game. In the air, again, he wins headers. He bosses players off the ball. And when he wins a header inside the area, again, it's going in the net because he is very clinical when it comes to heading with his 90 heading accuracy. He's got great jumping as well. Given that, what was he? Six foot two? I think he was six foot two. Yes, he's six foot two in the air. This guy is so good. So, aim all your goal kicks, Marco Van Basten, MVB. Aim all your free kicks, Marco Van Basten. Aim all your corner kicks, and yes, he's on the near post of corner kicks, Marco Van Bloody Basten. Aim it all the time to this man, and he will win header after header after header because he is that good in the air. As he gets put through, what I want to keep a scoop chip over the top, and that is perfection from um, MVB. I'm going to call him MVB because he's basically the MVP. He's so good on this game in terms of scoring goals. Now, his strength makes him kind of dominant in the air because, of course, he needs strength, upper body kind of strength to boss players off the ball. He can do that. On the ground, his aggression, not the greatest in the world. His aggression leads him to not win 50-50s, but if you're ahead of the player and you shield the ball, he's going to push them off. He's great at doing that. And, uh, yeah, the worst kind of things with the card, you've got, look, got to look at stamina. It's 78. Towards the back end of games, he was kind of tiring, of course. He scored, like, one goal in this. That was in the 90th minute. This actually might be it. It's the 90th minute of the game, and he just got a very important goal. But, again... Look at the stamina on the card. Bergkamp's got good stamina. Plays it into Van Basten eventually. And Van Basten's got less stamina. It's already running out. And I brought him on. Did I bring him on in that game? It might have come on off the bench in that game. I'm not too sure. But Van Basten, towards the end of the game, towards extra time, he will run out of steam, unfortunately, with the 78 stamina. Of course... He's got three star skills. I look for four star skills in strikers. It's not always needed. That's why it's a minor con, like I did say earlier on. It's not a major thing. So if you can deal with a striker having less than uh, four star skills, Van Basten is your man. And the one thing I want to mention is the heavy touch on the car. Now, I'm not saying it's going to happen every time, but what I found with my Van, um, I can't even say his name anymore, Van Basten was when he was taking a touch when he was about to accelerate. The ball would get too far away from his body for him to accelerate back onto the ball. Which, um, it caused him to lose the ball in a multiple kind of situation kind of thing. Because it happened quite a few times. Which is quite unfortunate with the card. And that will bring the rating down. The stamina will bring the rating down. The free star skills will bring the rating down. So you can kind of see where I'm going with this. The other pro that I wanted to mention was the position on the card. He's got medium to medium work rates. Which might lead you to think he's going to be bad in terms of positioning. But the positioning is 96. His medium medium is kind of balanced out and he's always in the right place at the right time to score goals and that is exactly what you want from strikers on this game you've got to kind of remember did he score 18 and 9 or something like that he scored 16 and 8 that's not bad in the slightest 
He's a goal scorer in this game. So if you want a goal scorer, look no further than Marco Van Basten if you can't get that Harry Kane. So, all in all, he's getting the overall rating of a 9.2 and the value for coins of a 9.8 because I fully believe that this SPC is worth every single penny. Well, not every single penny. Of course, there's a few cons come with it. Obviously, it's untradeable, so I wouldn't kind of mark him a 10 out of 10 for that reason. But in terms of the price, you're getting a great player for that chance right here. Maybe his heavy touch will kind of put you off in champs. That's the only thing I'm looking at there. The heavy touch will kind of bring that down a little bit. So champs ready here. I'd be hesitant. I really, really would. The similar players. Got to look at Burkamp. We've got to look at Alan Shearer in terms of their finishing abilities on this game. And Edinson Cavani as well. They're very similar. Is Edinson Cavani and Marco Van Basten. So lads. That's going to be it for this review. Once again, I do apologize if I kind of mumbled on or talked stupidly. Or I know I talk stupidly all the time. But um, I've got this local anesthetic and uh, my mouse kind of numb right now. So I do apologize for that. If you have enjoyed, however, smash the hair. I will that thumbs up button on this video. Let's hit for that thousand like mark. I know you can do it, lads. So smash it. This is a review you've all been wanting. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you are new around here. Remember, I've got a gaming channel as well. If you want to go subscribe to that, the link is at the end of the video and in the description below. And as always, lads, I will catch you all next time.